Welcome, welcome, crystal souls on this new picky card. Today we're going to talk about who is coming towards you. So for this reading, we have three piles available. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards, and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And today we're going to go in depth because I have tarot cards, couple cards, personality, and we're going to see as well what they look like physically. So... Like I said, expect everything, even zodiac sign letters and words, so their names possibly appearing. And by the way, if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is at a lower price these days, so check it out, enjoy. And of course, if you want to follow me on my ASMR channel, same thing, I'm gonna link this one down below if you guys are interested. So let's start your reading. So starting with group number one, let's see who is coming towards you. But first of all, you can see a deep attraction and passion here. <laughs> Someone desiring you. So you might feel this attraction towards somebody that is actually going to show you, I crave for you. I want to be with you. I want to feel you. I want to spend time with you and possibly unfold you in the near future. So let's see with the cards. Who is this specific person? Anything about them or your love story? Ooh, I like this one. So Six of Roses, which is a card we associate in tarot as recognition. So of course it could be recognition with their work, but this can be recognition as I recognize you. I know who you are. Or possibly that's a feeling of, I kind of know you. I feel we know each other or souls know each other but i'm seeing you attracting a winner someone who is determined to make you theirs because they see you as a trophy they see you as someone who is valuable and they want to actually start something with you number six connects to love so this is not just passion okay this is true love and this is why they want to grab the <laughs> you know the, the the trophy the prize and they will feel okay now is the challenge i mean now this person that i crave to be with is the challenge i want to accept so then i can become the winner so then i can start dating this person so i see someone who is determined to make you fall for them because they feel a deep attraction towards you and they might recognize you are the perfect match for them and I love how it flipped, it turned while traveling. And we have the page of rings, the optimist. I like this energy because I see someone who is, you know, they have a mindset where it's like, I'm going to be the winner. I'm going to be the chosen one and nobody can stop me. I'm very optimistic. We can work things out and we can give each other love because we're ready for that <laughs> even the page to me is that introduction of love or that introduction of a new chapter so you're attracting someone who is ready to commit ready to date ready to be in your life and they want you to choose them they want to be the winner they want to be the chosen one and they know they can be the chosen one because they're very optimistic and very positive and i'm sure when meeting this person you might be quite impressed because they think very positive they always see things working for them or working in their favor they know how the the law of the universe actually works because if they have this mindset of a winner, their life is matching, of course, this frequency and energy. So that's why I see you possibly feeling inspired or feeling uplifted by their presence because they bring so much positivity and good vibes. And this is also what you want to get. So I see someone who knows I can be yours and you can be mine. So please notice me <laughs> recognize me <laughs> so you're attracting a rich daddy or rich mommy depends but i see someone who is a good provider and that's why you could see a lot of balloons like i have enough to give to you i am ready for you and for love so i'm not wanting to waste more time i want us to be together and i'm gonna make sure i will win your heart you see and this is why they want to spoil you and possibly they see you as a trophy, but you might see them as a trophy yourself because you see their values, you see all they can give to you or even just being present and just giving love. And you can see a meeting. So in the near future, you might be meeting someone that you see as enough, that you see as 
also very attracted towards you because they will actually make you aware. Like they will not pretend they like you. No, they will tell you I'm looking for the one or I'm looking for a commitment. I'm looking for someone who wants love and who is able to receive my love because I want to be the provider. I want to give. So you might be in a dynamic where you find yourself provided a lot. And if you are someone who is highly independent, that might feel weird <laughs> in the beginning. But take your time and acclimate to this very generous energy. So you can then be provided the love that you actually deserve. So let's see. Personality traits about your person. So you're attracting someone with understanding. I'm not surprised with jealous because... This person has so much to give to you that if you're in and out or if you do have options, they want to be the winner. That means they do not want to share you. They don't want to see you go on different dates. Like they're going to be a bit, you know, like clingy and not desiring you to actually see anybody else, <laughs> especially romantically. I'm not saying friends or whatever. No, they will actually value you having amazing relationships and people around you. But when it comes to dating in the beginning, they might feel uncomfortable because this might awaken in them a part of, is it distrust? I'm not sure you can say that, but they can be distrustful if you're not fully invested, okay? And jealous. So jealousy, distrustful, and we have, like the first card was showing, someone who could be quite horny and attracted, but someone who is very understanding. And I see a person who likes to sit down with you and talk to you for hours. And that's why they're searching for a deep connection, someone they can fully trust and invest their entire being with because they want this relationship to grow. And they possibly are searching for, I'm not going to lie to you, they're possibly searching for their future wife or future spouse. I mean, future husband. You get the point. But future spell is good. <laughs> anyway, so I'm seeing this as the like the end result. Like this is what they're looking for. So let's see. Who is this person? Yes, this, they are pushing forward. They want to win you. They want to be with you. And I, I just believe you're attracting a person who is not afraid to put all their effort to make you fall for them you see so i hope you are liking that type of treatment you might be attracting an artist or someone who is very crafty very artistic this one flipped and came back so i'm not sure if i needed to pick it but i am picking it because this can be starting as a best friend or in this loving relationship this will feel like having a best friend with you so, of course, it can be working with a camera or just enjoying this as a passion, taking pictures, videos, maybe creating content, or they can be in front of a camera a lot. There's somebody, and even with their work, they're pushing forward. They want to be the winner. They want to be a leader. They want to be someone that people look up to, and they are very friendly. They might even have a best friend that they have a deep connection with, but you are the best friend, especially with that relationship. I see a person who sees you as their world, and I hope you're okay with this, because sometimes people feel a bit pressured by this, but I'm sure you might feel comfortable in the long run because you might notice actually it feels good to have a partner as a best friend it feels good to have someone I can fully rely on and fully feel like I can trust and I can feel comfortable to share my everything and my every emotions so let's see what they will look like any physical traits and of course the cards can show you traits already so here we have straight hair, straight hair, blonde, possibly wearing a mask or a beard. So blonde, they have this mystical vibe possibly about them. You can see that. And I'm seeing 11, 11 at the same time. 
Okay, so this could be a divine relationship or someone who looks divine or everything you wanted, everything you wished for in a person, that's what you're attracting. In them, shabby and fit. And if not about them, some traits can be about what they like about you. Okay, so take what resonates. So let's continue with the grid. So let's see what their zodiac sign can be. So far with the, the cards, we have ring and we have roses, which are associated to fire and earth sign. If for seasons, because they can be seasons too, we have spring and autumn. So let's see with the grid their zodiac sign or maybe the season when you guys will be together so we have virgo libra scorpio sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces let's continue with the letters and words so we can see perhaps a name a place initials let's see what comes out for you guys I'm seeing CEO, and that makes total sense. CEO. Let's see. I heard Florida, and I can't see that appearing with the letters. And we have USA, so this could be the target. <laughs> um, I see ID or identity, so you can know the identity of the person, or will be revealed the identity of the one. We have Sassy. Then we have when, so you can see perhaps with the the numbers, a date appearing. And we have Virgo here. So we have one and number two especially. I see USA, so that is confirming what we could see with the word. Let's see. Oracle. Ooh, just missing the L. I are in real let's see if we can get more hints we have the C in French I see say so they can say something to you dear we oh maybe saying yes and you know we talked about actually this person possibly targeting their um, future spouse we have creative so it could be a creative person it could be someone who is working in a creative field that's pretty much oh i see night in french so you can be dating at night soir that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's see now with the stickers. And by the way, if you if you guys want to get struggling to talk, if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is gonna be linked down below. And this is at a lower price these days, so enjoy. Let's see group number one. Anything about the person? Oh, we have a confession. We have I love you. Growth is power. And then we have, I see someone who is exploring, like they want to explore life, they want to travel a lot, they love to try different things, but they're also traveling to you. And here we have, you now add anything you want here. And perhaps this is about the provider, you know, energy that we saw. Like, I want to provide, so tell me what you want, I'll get it for you. You guys can be talking on the phone or meeting on a... Uh, how is it called? Like um, like the subway or any type of transportation tool. You guys can be using this one and meeting this way. I see this as the grocery. Like she is just picking things in the Halle at the grocery store. So it could be clean up. So make sure that you feel ready for that relationship. And yes, yeah, someone is going to try to make you see them. Like they're trying to get your attention for sure. So that's your reading, guys. I hope you liked it. Make sure to claim this energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Join the beautiful family. And let's grow to 100k together. And make sure to check my other readings on my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one.
Group number two, let's see who is coming towards you in love. So what you can see on this scene is first a very passionate kissing scene. This reminds me of the scenes you can see in K-drama. So maybe this is what you can expect in the near future. This type of love. And we have a playground in the city and we have winter season too. So they can be symbolic things for the two of you. For example, winter is their favorite season or winter is the time when you guys have match or there is something connected to winter and because we have the city they can be a city person because we have the playground they can be a very playful fun person and we have someone who is quite romantic as for the blue color because that's the dominant ambience then i see this as a sign that your person is going to be quite communicative this is a person who feels connected to you because you have amazing exchanges the way you guys will talk to each other is going to be very profound and deep and you're not afraid to express your deepest emotions or feelings to each other which is why i see two romantics to be honest <laughs> so let's see anything about who is coming towards you but so far we had many hints on this card let's see <laughs> i saw a video of this specific animal yesterday and i was like should i adopt one <laughs> because they're so adorable but yes anyway so we have the leap of faith this person is ready to love and ready to finally make that jump to confess their feelings to you and you can see this big heart i'm opening my arms to it i'm flying to you i'm, I'm here to provide to you and with the eight of roses number eight to me can be a sign so maybe 888 is a number that you see an angel number that you see a lot which is connected to spirituality divinity and soulmates or someone that's part of your destiny number eight is the infinite sign so you can be the infinite sign you can be seeing talking too fast seeing the infinite sign everywhere but this person will take that leap of faith this person is ready to love you and provide to you so they're flying in your direction perhaps flying in your direction is a sign for you to know that you can be attracting someone from the distance and they can be if not flying, could be driving to your place, but there is some type of movement, I guess, in the physical that will be necessary. We have way too many cards as you can tell. So let's shuffle again. Who is coming towards you? But I'm really getting soulmates. I'm seeing someone who's a dreamer. I'm seeing someone who's ready to commit, who is very loving too. And we talked about this with the Rame. I'm just mind blown <laughs> because everything is there. And when I was just catching myself saying flying, I was picturing this airplane and here it is. I cannot make that up. So this is good to me because that proves I'm connected. <laughs> so the channeling is perfect. It's on point. And here we have next destination. So this love is the next destination for you, the next chapter. And with the three of roses, I see you desiring to finally meet someone that is going to speak to you i heard to speak to your soul so if you want something deep and that's possibly why you see a lot of eight appearing and even the infinite sign that's because you might be guided towards someone that's in your soul family so mate, twin flames, counterparts, you name it. But there is a calling to be with each other, to fly to each other. And perhaps there is a destination you want to visit, a place you want to go to. If, for example, you feel called to travel to Paris or if you want to travel to Korea or whatever the place is, there is possibly a calling because there's somebody you're meant to meet out there. And you might feel the calling to do it quickly because what I see with the seasons are spring. Depends when, where you, you, I mean, where you're watching from because I know that if you live in Australia, this will be a bit far and further. But if, like me, you're from France, you know it's around the corner. So you might be like, okay, where should I go to? Where should I pick my ticket so I can just travel there? If not that, like I said, there could be some physical distance. If not the airplane, it could be just the next city. But there is the next word appearing there for a reason. 
you're guided. Even here you can see the... Um, hopefully you can see it. Well, okay, this, this is better. So next destination. <laughs> and you can see that traced on the map. So where do you want to go? And perhaps even take a, a weekend. Just go on a weekend somewhere. And we have number three for this one. So what they want is to grow with you. They want to give their love abundantly and infinitely to you because they feel the calling to be with you. So who is coming towards you? Let's see with a couple. I told you <laughs> everything is just confirmations after confirmation. So yes, this is perfect. We have indeed someone who is going to be romantic towards you. And we have someone who wants to protect you. They want to keep you safe and to keep yourself for themselves as well. So yeah, I'm seeing someone who is ready to, you know, give their love to you, to protect you and to make you feel safe in a relationship. So we have the protector and romantic. And because we have a lake, like a lake date you can be doing these type of things or perhaps traveling together is something you guys will plan to do so if you have a passion for traveling or exploring or i don't know just exploring different places this is what the two of you will do together so let's see now their personality you're attracting someone who is loyal to you we like to see that we saw this too emotional and I said it, they express their emotions with transparency. They're not hiding anything and they don't want to because they feel safe around you and it does not make sense to just keep things. They can appear shy in the beginning because I do believe you're attracting someone who is quite empathic and they can be sensitive in the essence. They might not really be a match with everybody, especially if someone is pushy or if someone is always making fun of everybody, they might feel very uncomfortable around these type of people. So they can be shy in the beginning because they care so much or they feel so much. So shy or perhaps shy to express something or you can be maybe feeling shy that they might confess to you quickly because you might need some time. I don't know, but take what resonates with you. So shy, emotional, and loyal. Let's pick now this other deck so we can see more traits about your person. So let's see. Emergence, miracles, originality, and productivity. So... I see a hardworking person who has amazing things to manifest and they hold it close to their heart because when they choose something and someone, they make sure that this is protected, this is safe, so magic can happen and they are emerging in your life, they're appearing to you and you might feel like, why? Like, why is now the time? Or when meeting this person, at least, you might feel like, okay, why this person? Or why this time? Or why this place? I was not expecting it. But they are emerging at divine time so you guys can work things together. This person will be very original. Like, the way they appear, the way they talk, um, their appearance, their style, everything is going to be quite original and one of a kind. And like I said, they're attracting and manifesting miracles and they're working on what they dream about. They have a passion for something that is quite original. And what I see with the cards, I see someone who could be a business person. I see someone who could be traveling for work. We have someone who might be a creative anything about um, like painting, digital painting, or creating with um, like the computer, for example. I think of fashion with this one, so there can be a model, a model as well. That's pretty much it with the cards, but something can appear to you that I did not catch. So let's see physical traits, what they will look like physically. So they can have black hair, preppy style, and tan. And they can have the vibe of the people you see on the pictures as well. So black hair, preppy style, and tan. So far, we have two more. 
All black style and seductive charms. <laughs> so these are the other cards. And you can see like the, the job here, possibly a palace officer. Um, what else? I'm seeing city person too for this one. You guys can be meeting online because with the computer, the tablet. I don't know. I feel this could be something related. Maybe the web you know, could be with the map. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, that's pretty much it for what I can catch as hints. Let's continue with the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far, we have fire, fire signs with the tower cards. So for the grid, and they can be rather their zodiac sign or seasons. So we have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, we have many. <laughs> Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, Aries, I mean, Taurus. These are the signs especially. Let's pick now the letters and words so we can see perhaps a name, maybe a destination as well. Let's see what we get for you guys. We have will, heart, okay, my, <laughs> but it was is at first and then it turned into mine. So my heart, I love in real life. It could be meeting in real life. We have LA, let's see, a close up for you guys. Mm -hmm. I'll late or latte could be something they love to drink doctor i see read in french or you know when you guys uh, have seen appearing <laughs> it's like they left me on scene for us it's lu or i mean it depends but um it depends because some apps like uh like on iphone when you receive a message it's sometimes read i mean blue or i think there's another one but oh yes seen or red it depends we have these two in french but i don't know if you guys have these things but what i see is that they read or they would love to read you at um, i heard di yes diary Maybe you write about them in your diary or they can write about you in their diary. Dia in Portuguese means day. So you can have a date. UV. Love. <laughs> Rat. Maybe that's their Asian sign. Let's see. Lover. Because we have ER. Lover. AI. It's funny because when I was watching this, I was actually thinking of if not drawing, they can be generating AI art. And you can see that. Or they can be an artist as well. Rave. That's pretty much what I can see, but something can appear to you that I did not get. Sometimes when I'm meditating, I'm like, oh, I missed it out. Did I miss that? But you know, it happens. <laughs> so let's see. Let's pick some stickers for you guys. And by the way, if you guys want to get your reading with me, everything is at a low price. So enjoy while it's there. Let's see who is coming towards you. I'm seeing already some signs I like. So we have here the divine timing so this person will come when the time is right for the two of you so if you've been waiting for a while this is telling you don't pressure yourself with that because this person will come when you're ready for love and when they are themselves ready to give love you guys can be talking on the phone or maybe meeting while traveling we're going somewhere with the transportation tools. I see growth in that relationship with the mushroom. And I see someone will try to get your attention, will say hi to you a lot. We have 
music with the vinyl. So they could be a music lover. We have music and dancing because we have the dancer too. They can love to ride the bike. And let me just get the one that fell on the floor, which is the gas station. So it could be a significant place or a symbolic for you. Like this is someone who gives me fuel, who fuels me, who gives me energy. <laughs> I can go the distance with you. That's really the vibe I'm getting here. So that's the reading, guys. Make sure to claim this energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. Of course, I see Dali as well. Could be an artist you love and I see travel. See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I did not see it. <laughs> anyway, so take care of you guys and see you guys next time. And make sure to check my other readings on my channel. Bye-bye. So group number three, let's see who's coming towards you. But so far, we have a deep attraction between these two. We have many signs appearing already on this card. So with the window, I see that somebody has their eyes on you. They know who you are. And with the curtain appearing, they might reveal maybe what they feel or they might reveal their identity but i feel like they keep things a bit secret maybe their feelings or that they like to watch your possibly your stories or some something like this and with the cat i see that they can be someone who needs to feel safe in that relationship and they're very good at providing to be a protector as for the plant i see someone who wants to grow in a relationship and you can see they are really attracted towards you so let's see next more cards so we can get more hints about who is coming towards you or the love story you can expect with them so let's see these two okay so we have the knight of flutes which is actually the knight of shining armor the one who is here to conquer you the one who is ready for love and i see someone who is a charmer like they want to make you fall for them and that's their mission this is possibly why they're waiting for the perfect time to confess their feelings to you so then you can build something beautiful the seven of cups or seven of flutes here talks about what we wish for what we want to manifest and perhaps this is a reading for you to know what you're searching for traits qualities values the way you want to be treated what type of person maybe appearance wise personality and we're gonna see more hints with the cards possibly associated to these things but know that you're manifesting all these things and you're really you're really lucky with number seven appearing here you're really lucky to have everything and because we have the edit you know when you're editing a video or maybe editing a picture you remove everything you don't want but you keep what you find good right and that's the same with your manifestations this is the universe telling you you're manifesting prince charming or princess charming and that's because you know what you do not want as well so you are editing that out of your life you don't go back to it and you mature enough to not give a chance to people who just don't fit the movie of love that you desire so you're editing that out <laughs> okay that is a good sign to me even the scissors can talk about cutting cords cutting off the past maybe i don't know cutting photographs splitting splitting ways that's really what i'm getting with that image and the symbolism of this one with this love i see the two of you flying high and possibly feeling high together high on love because you feel so connected there is this complicity, this, I don't know, the synergy between the two of you that feels natural. You don't need to try, you don't need to force things. It is just an evidence that the two of you were meant to find each other. And you're taking a higher, <laughs> you know, a higher step in that relationship. That's why I'm seeing someone who is indeed the hopeless romantic, someone who wants to actually be the provider, who wants to confess their feelings towards you because they see a future with you and they want to be part of this movie of life that you're creating on your own these days. But yeah, so they are really... <laughs> like, I want to have a role in your life. I want to play part. Let's see next with the Kobo cards. Okay, we have way too many, but I'll take this one. We have someone charismatic. 
charisma romantic and the conqueror that is totally connected to the energy of the knight of cups because the knight of cups is the one who is running in your direction ready to confess because they feel the urge and they want to make progress with that connection they want to you know, they don't want to miss their chance to be with you. So, of course, they're going to show that they care. They have feelings for you. And I'm here to conquer you. And I will make sure that I am charismatic enough for you to just want to be with me. <laughs> so, yes, that's the vibe of the person that you're welcoming. But this person is moving in your direction. I'm not saying you're waiting too long to be with this person. Possibly the next season because we have summer for these two or water signs could be a water sign but i'm seeing summer as a season as well i'm not saying this to limit yourself because you manifest everything when you want to okay so if you're ready for love now claim it now don't wait or don't feel like oh okay so this is only going to come during summer no if this has to come tomorrow so be it <laughs> okay so let's see now their personality that makes sense. I mean, we have someone who wants to commit, who wants to be with you, who is ready to conquer you, and who finds ideal to be part of your movie of love. So they do want to commit to you, yes, and they see a future with you. They see that you can be their future spouse, or you can be someone they can be building with if you don't want to get married, but they see a future. Whether it's like getting a house together, adopting a dog, or getting a baby together, or whatever that might be, but they are indeed wanting to ascend with you with the mountains here. They want to get a higher, in a higher position with you. So they might be willing to not be just the boyfriend or the, or the girlfriend, they want to be the spouse. You see, that's the higher, like the next level, let's say. But yes, they want to commit. They might be famous or might be very popular. And that's because they're very charismatic. So they might have a lot of eyes on them, but they have their eyes on you. And I see this person as someone who, like when they have a crush, nobody exists for them because they are just wanting to be with this person. They have a target, then they stick to it. Like they don't, they don't go in and out. They are just invested. But they can be famous or they can be famous with their status. We have travel and transition and rise and shine. And when I was just saying famous, popular, that can be with their business or their career. So they are rising and shining, becoming more and more successful. And with travel, you can be meeting while traveling or while there is a transition in your life. If you're experiencing a new cycle, a new awakening, or if things are shifting around you, and you're like, my life is no longer the same, or I do not feel the same person, like I'm becoming brand new. And perhaps this is when you do that, that you do attract that person because you become each other's magnet, you see? So you're attracting someone who is experiencing success, perhaps you are yourself experiencing this. So it could be the opportunity for you then to be with this person, all right? Let's continue with the physical traits. So what they will look like physically. And perhaps even the cards before were showing you some hints. So we have brown eyes, business style, or they can be into business. I see someone fashionable too. Like even the way they dressed. Like these two, it's like past life style or like very fancy. I mean, that's a, a scene with the... The wedding but still like you can even see chanel brands so i'm telling you <laughs> this person may have a very unique and luxurious or very sharp looking style fantasy high-pitched voice if not about them it could be things they like about you too way too many so sorry but i'll take these back i'll pick one more Okay, tattooed, and let's see this one, and baby face. So baby face, I think these two are very like feminine, like this is what they like about the feminine, or if you're watching to find your girl, they can actually appear this way. So baby face, high-pitched voice, tattooed, 
tattooed and let's see these two i'm showing you a close-up business style and fantasy they can love to have versatile styles like for example they can wear very sharp looking fancy luxurious styles and sometimes it's like you can see like fairy like out of this world like mermaid um i'm seeing this as like i don't know like a fairy like something like this and you can like that about them because they can really pull off every style every uniqueness of each style <laughs> okay so let's continue with the grid so we can see their zodiac sign so far we had water signs and they can be seasons too if not there is zodiac okay so we have and we have water again so cancer leo and we i mean these two are during summer season so just saying but that can be the season and then we have virgo and libra so let's continue with the letters and words so we can see any type of hints like a name a place appearing let's see what comes out oops sorry my phone my phone let's see let's see and now my computer sorry I'm about to receive my new um, camera, so that's why that's why Amazon is emailing me. I see we, and we had actually, you know, when you say yes for the wedding, you know, I think that is connected here. So then for the words, we have party, funny, hide, little, need, sweet, smile, joy, sweeter... Mm, funnier <laughs> let's i see ice for some reason i heard i see you so maybe that was the code for you guys and for the signs by the way we have sagittarius and we did not have this one here so that's a plus but perhaps you can see something i did not catch oh yes i did not catch scorpio so scorpio and sagittarius as the other signs let's continue and pick the stickers and by the way if you guys want to get a reading with me everything is at a lower price these days so enjoy while it's there while it's still valid so let's see with the stickers we have many here on my lap okay life is good many messages you can see that life is good what doesn't kill you makes you stronger I see two shy beans on a first date, <laughs> you know, that's totally what I can picture here with this one, especially. Looking fancy though, like these two, they're a match, yeah, perfect match with the style. Then I see someone who is possibly um, enjoying reading a lot, or maybe they work in a field that connects to books or writing. Um, or maybe telling stories, maybe they, they are a very good storyteller. I heard podcasts as well, so maybe that's about it. And, you know, you know creating content is also becoming, or being, <laughs> becoming, uh, being a storyteller. So here we have summer again. This makes me think of summer, but they can be a lover for watermelons. I see possibly moving in together, you know, just packing stuff with the um, the bike they can actually love to go for a ride with you in nature and coffee makes everything okay <laughs> everything better okay so that's the rating guys i hope you like it claim it down below in the comments of course subscribe if you're new you can also check my other videos appearing on the screen and i will see you guys next time